All right, another day, another quick little project. I'm gonna be throwing some limb risers on the GX. So hopefully it'll be a quick little project and uh, nice and easy, a little bit of an upgrade. Most of the places that we head to, uh, we spend a lot of time up in the Pacific Northwest and a lot of time in the Washita National Forest, in the Ozark National Forest. Uh, when we're here in Texas and so both of those places all those places uh, typically have pretty tight narrow trails with lots of trees so limb riser should be a good upgrade for us let's get to it All right, so we got a few different things uh, here. This is some stainless steel wire rope that is coated with uh, PVC vinyl. And that's what we're gonna use for the limb risers. We got stainless steel eye bolt, stainless steel bolts, Stainless steel nuts. We got a couple stainless steel turnbuckles, uh, and I went for the closed eye and clevis uh, version. Some stainless steel washers, and I think that's going to be all we need. Oh, we got these uh, sleeves for the end of the wire rope. I think that's gonna do it. Um, I'll put all the links to all this stuff in the description if you are looking to do the same. All right, so what my plan is roughly <clears throat> uh, is to run the limb risers from the bumper here up to top of the roof rack uh, and actually it'll be on it'll be connected to uh, the mounting rails on the rooftop tent we're gonna have solar panels mounted to the top of the tent uh, so the idea is that these limb riser will get stuff up over the top uh, of where that level is at so basically we're gonna be attaching here and then running them up mounting points there and uh, we'll see how all that works out we're at seven foot nine there Ooh. So basically what we're going to be doing is attaching we're going to be mounting this <coughs> stainless steel eye bolt up at the top of the roof and then so that'll go like <clears throat> and 
and then we'll attach the cable to this end and that should do the trick all right so the first thing we're gonna do here is get our eye bolt put into this track so we have uh, this track here on the top of the rooftop tent takes M8 hardware. So we have an M8 eye bolt and stainless steel, everything stainless steel, and a stainless steel nylock. So we'll slide that in there like that. like that hopefully that's not going anywhere all right so now that we got the eye bolt in we're gonna go ahead and put this clevis pin in Alright, now we'll measure with this fully extended so we can get the length of cable that we need. Another day, finally back out here trying to finish the uh, limb riser project. I uh, had to take a pause and order ugh, these bad boys. <laughs> so this is a huge 30 inch or 34 inch uh, swagging tool to crimp these things down. So uh, pro tip, I guess I wouldn't recommend going with the 5 8 or 5 16 or whatever size I put up here on screen um, hardware unless you have these tools already to crimp so yeah extra 50 bucks and uh, anyway we can finally get to this thing let's finish it up alright I gotta admit I actually don't even know how to use this thing so let's find that out real quick All right, I'm back. Got to figure it out. I'm gonna link a video to help you guys out uh, so you can learn like I did. So this part actually ended up being quite a bit more difficult than I was expecting. Uh, as you can see here from my attempts to uh, crimp these fittings down. The tool is super heavy and unwieldy and requires quite a bit of force with these uh, thick fittings uh, so it's quite difficult. I ended up only putting in uh, two crimps per fitting basically on the primary fitting uh, and one uh, for the end cap. Technically I think you're supposed to put five in for a fitting of this size if you're trying to put any uh, real load on it in a rigging scenario but uh, since this is just for the limb risers I figured two was sufficient.
right, that's the first one done. We, uh, that swaging, swagging, whatever it's called, is uh, much more difficult than I was expecting. Definitely recommend that you go with a smaller gauge, smaller wire size. So, but, and this is uh, gonna be solid for sure. All right, now I gotta get the other side done. That's it for the limb riser project. Not too hard, but a little bit harder than I was expecting just because I had to get that huge, massive swaging, swagging, whatever it's called, tool. Um, but overall, yeah, really happy with how it turned out. It's gonna be nice and tight. We're ready for all the forest and tight trails that we're typically rolling on. So uh, I'll put links to pretty much all the stuff that I use in the description. And at some point we'll probably do a write up on our website. Uh, so you can check that out as well, pacharyadventures.com. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.